Have you ever wanted to improve the thermal performance and reliability of your 3D printer? Today we're going to show you exactly how. Hi, I'm Dan Barus, the CEO and co-founder of Slice Engineering. And today we're talking about thin film thermal grease, our newest high performance thermal compound. I'll explain what it is, why you should use it in your 3D printer, and how it's already improving the reliability of our own Mako hot end assemblies. Thin film thermal grease is a non-silicone, high thermal conductivity, stable, low bond line thermal compound designed for demanding applications. Almost as demanding as reading that. It's rated for temperatures up to 360 degrees Celsius, making it ideal for high performance setups like ceramic heaters, advanced print heads, industrial tank heaters, thermal wells, and even semiconductor components like light emitting diodes, transistors, and power resistors. We use this thermal grease in every Mako hot end, applying it to critical surfaces like the hop lock and sensor. Its ultra thin application minimizes bulk, ensuring perfect thermal contact for optimal heat transfer and stability between the sensor, heater, and the hop lock. Thin film thermal grease is made with advanced materials that enhance heat conductivity without electrical conductivity. That means it's safe for sensitive electronics like the semiconductors I mentioned earlier and prevents electrical shorts. Its non-silicone formula eliminates issues like creep or dry out, which can lead to failure in other thermal compounds and allows it to be easily reworkable. So if your application doesn't go down perfectly the first time, you can try it again. It also has low outgassing. It even meets NASA standards for use in space. It is perfect for critical applications where residue or contamination is a concern. Thin film thermal grease improves heat transfer from PTC heaters to hot blocks, reducing hot and cold spots. It means more consistent temperature control in your printer. It extends the lifespan of heaters and sensors while improving print quality as well, so you get optimal thermal transfer when you need every watt of power. For makers, it's an easy upgrade that takes your printer's performance to the next level. And for OEMs, it's a reliable solution for heat sensitive applications. Thin film thermal grease isn't just for 3D printers. It's also a game changer for industries like semiconductor manufacturing and can be used for thermal wells and PTC ceramic heaters in all types of industries. Its versatility makes it an ideal choice for a wide range of high temperature applications. So how do you use it? Applying thin film thermal grease is really easy. Simply clean the surface where it's gonna be applied. Then you use the applicator to spread a thin, even layer. doesn't have to be perfect because of its low viscosity and flowability. Install your heater or sensor into the slot. For best results, heat the whole assembly to 100 degrees Celsius after installation to evaporate any residue and ensure a perfect fit. We tested a bunch of different compounds when we were trying to find the optimal thermal grease to ensure good thermal conductivity for our Mako hot end. We landed on this thin film thermal grease because it ensures consistent thermal conductivity and protects components from failure due to thermal stress while using every single available watt of power from those tiny heaters. It's this attention to detail that helps us deliver hot ends that are high performance and reliable. If you're looking for a simple, effective way to enhance your 3D printer's thermal performance, or you need a reliable solution for high temperature electronics, thin film thermal grease is the perfect choice. You can find it now at SliceEngineering.com or on Amazon. If you have any questions about it, let us know in the comments. We'd love to help. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more educational content about optimizing your 3D printing setup. As always, stay zesty.